Happy Monday. Do you have a firm grasp on today and this new week? I'm Andy Ross. I'm one of the pastors at Northminster Church in Tucson, Arizona, and I'm going to confess to you, sometimes uh, I can be downright annoying. If you uh, don't know about the Presbyterian tradition, we love paper and books and uh, words. And there's many times in my ministry where I'm handing out pieces of paper, say at a meeting or a leadership team. And uh, being a bratty younger brother, uh, sometimes just for fun, I'll hand someone a sheet of paper and they'll come to grab it and I pull it out of their hand. And we do that two or three times until we start laughing. And then invariably someone ends up grabbing the paper like this. Oh, the games we play, right? <laughs> I, I bring this up, a firm grip, because today in our gospel reading from the book of John, the gospel of John, chapter 10, Jesus says something that is astonishingly secure. Um, there's some conflict over what Jesus is saying, who is believing Jesus, who is being critical of Jesus. And Jesus is so direct and blunt. He says, I tell you, but you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify about me. Jesus is just laying it out there. He says, uh, you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep, Jesus says, Listen to my voice, I know them, and they follow me. This is John 10, 19 through 30. Jesus says, I give them eternal life. That should make you stop and ask, who talks this way, right? Who, who can say those kinds of things? I give them eternal life, and they follow me. Um, and then Jesus says, my father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. No one. I and the father are one. That's called sheep security, in my opinion. You and I are far from perfect. We stumble we take wrong turns. Sometimes we speak words that we regret. Sometimes we disappoint others in our life. But if you listen for Jesus, if you've entrusted your life to Jesus, if you've said, Jesus, you are my Lord, but I also need you as my Savior, it's the Father's grip not yours, that matters most. He's got you. It's why he brought Jesus, his son, into this world, for you to know him and to find your eternal security in Jesus. It's the biggest word I could probably give you on this Monday as we start a week. God will never slip out of your hands. If you trust in Jesus, you commit your life to Jesus, relying on Jesus, your grip may let go. You may slip. You may stumble. But he's got you. Celebrate that today. Entrust your life to this Jesus. Today, don't delay. And may God's blessings in Christ be yours.